was mm -hmm. expected. At nine, I went to a tryout. I made a 12-year-old team. And the reason why I made a 12-year-old team, literally hundreds of kids spread out over a field with a little microphone. Who wants to try out for shortstop? It was like a herd of kids went to shortstop. A herd of kids went to second. A herd of kids went to the pitcher's mound. Who wants to try out for catcher? Nobody went. I never caught my life. I went there. I said, you know what? I like those ads. I borrowed a glove. Didn't even have a regular glove. I borrowed somebody's glove. Went to, and the man said, you catch it? Yep. So I, I knew how to squat down, so I squat down. He got on the mound. He started throwing to me. It seemed like it would be 1,000 miles an hour. And I battled. I battled. And he chose me for his team. Uh, Freddie Esposito. I still... Firm, fair, did not have a child on the team, had rules, broke a rule, you didn't play. It wasn't a must-play league. You break a rule, you do not play. He was a stickler about the actual rules of baseball. At practice, he gave everybody first practice, he gave everybody a rule book. Basically told us to memorize a rule for the next practice. And at the drop of a hat, he would pull you aside and say, tell me the rule, tell me what it means. With the understanding is the more you understand about the rules of the game, the less you're going to argue. And we never argued. And we had a good time. My athletic director in college was a gentleman named Jim Constanti. Jim Constanti was the MVP of the Philadelphia Phillies in 1950. He was a pitcher. Did not have a long career, but he played, he played in the World Series. So he kind of took me under his wing. All right? And we argued for, four year, for three years. We argued for three right? years. He was stubborn. I was stubborn. But you know what? As much as I argued with him, I listened to everything he said. All right? I challenged him on, excuse me, I challenged him on everything, but I listened to everything because I, I have a good memory. And I applied most of what he did there. It's real simple. Not everything's going to go your way. And that's okay. That's okay. Besides learning from your mistakes, can you get anything positive out of losing? Did anything good happen to lose, aside from learning from your mistakes? And they all, they all say no. And I tell them, you're wrong. You're wrong. Because I can guarantee that for the rest of their lives in baseball, they'll never lose again. You know how? Don't play. So what do you get out of losing? The opportunity, the opportunity to play gives you the opportunity to win. It also gives you the opportunity to lose. But the key is you're playing. You're playing. If, you know, if, you, if you hate losing, don't play.